Innovation and Design Thinking IDT VTU Module 1 Shared Model in Team-Based Design Part 2 by J. Babu Cognitive Strategies The media models explained in my previous video serve as cognitive processes makes designers to think deeply. Insights will be gained on moving from one type of media model to another type of varying levels of abstraction and resolution. Success of any product development is mainly depending on how design team apply various cognitive strategies. Each type of media models gives designers a different thinking style. For example, Abstract media, which is highly resolved, has a cognitive strategy, parametric adjustment. Media models that have low resolution and high abstraction has a cognitive strategy, paradigmatic shifts. To understand different cognitive strategies, Jonathan Edelman and Rebecca Carano conducted experiments. However, there are several research examples that shows how designers apply different cognitive strategies. Research of Andy Clark shows that certain kinds of thinking shall not occur unless the subjects or designer's hands really move. In conducting any research, the people chosen for the study are called as subjects. According to the Clark, much of thinking happens in the hands at the same time in the mind. Their research recommends that thinking doesn't occur only in the heads but also in certain forms of human cognizing include inextricable tangles of feedback, feed-forward and feed-around loops, loops that promiscuously crisscross the boundaries of brain, body and the world. Briefly, we can say the media itself influences designers on what and how they can think. Barbara Tverskin, cognitive scientist, has realized that when rough sketches presented experimental subjects committed to think roughly or conditionally this they called as sketchy thinking. Another research in cognitive science has explored the fitness of representations. Cognitive fit theory says that the style or way in which the problem is represented regulates the thinking model used. These all researches supports the concept that the kind and the characteristics of the media on which people engaged have an effect on how people think and subsequently on the nature of their conversations. Experimental Procedure and the Data Jonathan Edelman and Rebecca Carano conducted an experiment to understand and get more insights using Media Models Framework. They videotaped four different teams each consists of three members for to redesign projects using two different types stimuli. First stimulus, a CAD model of a device expected to analyze the properties of material, see the figure 8. Second stimulus, a rough physical prototype of a device expected to project a voice to a specific user, see the figure. 9. They gave instructions deliberately vague to see what effects the stimuli will have. Instructions for the first stimulus, do whatever is necessary to take the model forward. This product enables you to analyze and identify the material composition of objects. Instructions for the second stimulus, do whatever is necessary to take the model forward. This product enables you to project your voice to a specific target. Results and Insights First stimulus, CAD model showed convergent conversations, subjects suggesting only parametric changes or and the additional features. Second stimulus, rough prototype showed divergent conversations, subjects suggesting major changes, including adding features and functionality. Teams diverged from the norms, teams innovative, and media supports this innovation. Teams suggested paradigmatic changes for the CAD model and made many prototypes and rough sketches. This had the effect of giving the CAD model a cognitive vote. This experiment led new insights, behaviors unique in the teams are. New insights. One statement of intention. To asking process questions. 
3. Visualizing User Scenarios 4. Enacting User Scenarios 5. Combining Metaphors It's Like X Plus Y 6. Eureka Moments Experience 1. Statement of Intention After the study, it was observed that teams, when working with the CAD model deviated from the norm that is convergent conversation rather they think divergently, and their intention is to change the model itself. Their intention is neither agree the given CAD model or improve the given idea. 2. Asking process questions It was also noticed that the team who deviated from the norm posed a significant number of process-oriented questions during the conversations. Process-oriented questions means to how the team shall approach the problem instead focusing only on the problem. Example can we choose the same assumptions in the lab or in the field? 3. Visualizing User Scenarios There is a significant difference between user scenarios and use case. Use case considers general assumptions about the users whereas user scenarios consider specific circumstance commitment. The teams who deviated from the norms have conversations in diverse depictions of user scenarios. User scenarios concerns with the real user in particular situation and get into specific details. This insight brought out new mechanism for how a drastic change to a model happens. This change is refereed as K, C transits means knowledge to concept transits, appealing Hatchwell and Wheels C, K theory. See the figure. CK design theory or concept knowledge theory is both a design theory and a theory of reasoning in design. It defines design reasoning as a logic of expansion processes, means a logic that organizes the generation of unknown objects. In this study CAD model considered as an anchor object that used as a reference point which influenced the conversations. As teams brought about different user scenarios, they undo the authority of anchor object. Now the user scenarios act as new anchor objects, allow new perspectives that allow the team to make more changes in the CAD model, which makes a new mutable object. 4. Representation or Enacting User Scenarios Enactment is related to the user scenarios, and used in describing the user scenarios. Enactment means serving as a typical example of something. Enactment can be noticed during the performance of the object by the team members. This can be done by either simulating the action or with substitute or proxy objects like a cell phone or a water bottle in order to serve as the object during enacting a scene where the object going to be used. Team members showed various examples of this enactment, which made paradigmatic shifts using CAD models. 5. Metaphors Combinations – It's like X plus Y It is the combination to metaphors, examples, and occurs during the enactment. A metaphor is a figure of speech that, for rhetorical effect, directly refers to one thing by mentioning another. It may provide clarity or identify hidden similarities between two different ideas. See the figure. It was noticed in the study, the use of single metaphor to express how a stimulus was thought to work, functional changes can be made to the models. If two or more metaphors were combined, that can bring paradigmatic shifts in the model. Example. A team connected the metaphor of a scanner and the metaphor of a glove while enactment and brought a new concept which was a complete departure from the form of the instrument in CAD rendering. 6. Eureka Moments Experience In was noticed in this study, the teams which achieved their explicit intention to change the model, an excitement. Then the teams co-crafted completely new and shared vision. Outbursts like, oh yeah, were also noticed, and the teams focused on details of the vision. Thanks for watching. Comment for any suggestions. Like, share, and subscribe for more videos.